All right, today I'm going to show you guys how to set your TPS sensor or your throttle position sensor. It's real easy. You need a multimeter and you need three wire leads. So I'll go ahead and show you how to diagnose it and also how to fix it. So this is for my 1985 C4. Now checking to see if you have a code 22 is fairly simple. This is the same way that you check all your code. You need a really, really expensive tool, a paper clip. So what you want to do is ground your diagnostic pin and your ground pin. And on this C4, it's going to be A and B. So it's these two pins right here. Okay. So that's all you do. You just leave the paper clip in there. You turn your key on one click, two clicks, tell the on like when you're going to do it. Now it's going to flash code 12. That's the beginning of your code. So one flash, one, two, that's a 12. It's going to do it again. One flash, one, two, that's a 12. Now it's going to start listing codes. Flash, 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 flash. That's 22. It's going to do it two more times. There's the 12. Now it's going to go back, or now the 22, now it's going to go back to 12. 1, 1, 2. So 12 is the beginning and the ends of all your codes. So if I had more than just this code, it would show. But 12 is how you know it's done showing code. So that's how you basically diagnose the codes, make sure that this is actually what you have. So let's go out in the car and uh, see if we can't get it to do what it's supposed to do. The other thing I was having is my idle was really, really high and the code was intermittent. The check engine light would pop on and off over and over. So we're going to go ahead and diagnose it. It's actually pretty easy. So basically what you're doing is you're checking voltage that goes from one wire to the other. So this is your throttle position sensor, okay? And what you want to do is you want to basically take these three and jumper this pin with this pin, the middle one with the middle one, the bottom with the bottom one. Now if you look at this clip, this top part is A, B, and C. C is your ground, and then A and B, you want to check voltage in between them. Now, what I've done is I have made these special little um, jumper wires that fit in both ends. So, for example, this one's going to go in C, this one's going to go B, and this one's going to go in A. Alright, so here's my multimeter. We're checking for 0.54 volts plus or minus 0 0.75. That's our range. So I'm going to take this and go all the way to here. Okay, that will give me what I need. And I have my leads plugged into the ground and also the volts. So you pretty much turn the key to on, you put one of these leads to A and one of these leads to B and it will show you what the voltage is. Then you adjust the um, TPS up or down in order to get the required voltage. I'm sorry about the fans, I, the car is hot, I can't help it. You take these two probes, right now I'm really low. See that? So what I'm going to do, somebody stripped these out, so this is about all I got. I'm going to loosen this. I moved it up a little bit. Now since we moved it up a little bit, now we're a little closer, we're going to go a little farther. Let's see what that does. 0.61 will go down just a smidge. That's probably in range, probably good enough. There you go. High five. So now what I'm going to do, go ahead and 
tighten it down. I wish I had screws that didn't have to have to do this with. So now that we have it tight, let's go ahead and recheck it just to be safe. 0.53, that's good enough. So that's how you do it. All right, everybody, it has come time to pay for school. And with that, it has come time to sell the 85. So I'm asking 7,000 or best offer. I wanted to offer it up to my YouTube viewers just in case any of you guys wanted to actually buy this car uh, that I've made these videos on that I've been working on. I have a bunch of information about it in the description below now this may or may not be the last video on this particular c4 um depends on how quickly it sells but honest truth if i don't sell it i can keep on driving it because it's definitely now daily driver status let me go ahead and show you when you look at this paint i mean that's without me really buffing it if i went to a professional detailer and had them buff this out it would look awesome looks good right now it's hard to make white look good especially in the light let me show you you can see how well you can see this it's kind of yeah it's kind of dark in there but there's the inside so definitely turned out really really nice I would love to sell this locally or to somebody that has been watching these videos just because I know that they'll take care of it even more and I know that all the work that I've done to it to get it where it is will not be in vain. I have sold cars before that the other, the next owner blows them up or wrecks them. Yeah, it's looking really good, and it drives, it drives awesome. So, um, you guys can feel free to comment. Feel free to, uh, you can feel free to send me a message if you're interested in it. But right now, there's really nothing left to do other than small little cosmetics. You could, if you wanted, get the seats redone. You could, if you wanted, redo this weather stripping in the back. I've done all the rest of the weather stripping. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look forward to another project coming soon.